Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 21 of the Lee Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Restored IP address. Let's see what this is about. Um, okay. It seems like this is, uh, yeah. So, routed IP address, okay. Oh, yeah, hit the like button. Did I always say that? I don't know. I feel like I need more sleep. But, yeah, and also I'm going to do a, a bonus question after this. So, definitely hit that bell. And if you want to do a little bit more, let's do it together. Uh, we still IP address. So, okay. So, given... Duh, 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 duh. Okay. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't construct that anyway, but... Okay, and then there's no leading zeros or something. Yeah, no leading zeros. Okay, so I mean, again, I think I said this yesterday, and if you didn't watch it yesterday, then I'll say it again, I suppose. But this seems like uh, the return or the routed IP address. So that means that this is probably going to be, or like, it's hard to enumerate everything without enumerating everything anyway. Or like, that's the lower bound of the cost um, in terms of, uh, it's going to be at least output sensitive, right? The size of your output is going to be, um, yeah. And also, uh, kind of similar to yesterday, um, you know, so what, what, you know, I mean, I, we look at bound is equal to 20, but can we even be a little bit more precise? Maybe, you, could, you know, if you're a little bit less strict, you could say, oh, it's 2 to the 20, right? Um, and the reason why you could say it's 2 to the 20 is that you can imagine, uh, or 2 to 21, may, uh, or 2 to 19, sorry. Because let's say there's a, um, uh, a number with ninety or uh, with twenty digits, right? What does that mean? That means that there are nineteen spaces in between all the digits. Pretend there's twenty, right? twenty digits, and between each of the space, this could be either a period or not, right? So that you know, for example, so in that in that um, in that uh, what do we call it? Uh, in that analysis, it could be two to twenty. A very naive one. Well, what, what's what's uh, what's another way of thinking about it, right? Well, we actually only need three dots to create four numbers, right? So that means that, okay, now we still have 19 spaces. We only need three dots. And that is, of course, 19 choose three. Something like that, right? And 19 choose three, I'm going to plug it into my calculator real quick. My calculator being Google is only about 969. So that is definitely, definitely brute forceable. So if you want to uh, check that. But another thing to, I mean, okay, so let's say you didn't have Google or you didn't, I don't know, I want to type into your calculator. Of course, 19 choose 3 is roughly speaking going to be 19 times 18 times 17 uh, times uh, over, maybe I could do over this way. Ask you all. Over 3 times 2 times 1. Um, I mean, and this is of course just 6, but this is roughly speaking, and cube is what I'm trying to get at um, when you kind of uh, 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 structure it out that way. So, and of course, N cubed for 20 is going to be, uh, what's my cut? It's going to be 8,000, but even 8,000 is fast enough, right? And then maybe if you're just over six, that's going to be, you know, 20 cubed over six is going to be like, you know, 1,500. And that's, I mean, of course, that's a more conservative bound because, you know, we choose 20 instead of these things I could do in my head. But yeah, so, so that convinces me that it is going to be fast enough. Um, and then beyond that, we just have to do it. And usually it's something like this times n, but n is 20, so it's fine. So yeah, so let's do it. Um, and again, this is going to try to do brute force kind of way. Um, how do we want to do it? Maybe we do it the same way we did it yesterday. We have the index. Maybe we have like left for the number of dots left, right? Um, yeah, so. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, if index is equal to n, then we, then maybe we yeah the append current um, or something like this, yeah maybe something like that. Depending on how we want to do it, we can always change it later, right? And then otherwise, uh, otherwise then for each left, we just look at up to three digits, right? So for i in range of one to three, um, three digits because you know it goes only up to two fifty five, so it has three digits. So okay, so then if um, and this is and maybe you could kind of uh, play around with it a little bit, but um, yeah, if 
S sub mm, S sub index. Uh, this is going to be the length, so maybe we could just do it in like this, 0, 1, 2, right? So then now we're going to do, 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 right? Something like that. Um, so, what, 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 I mean, and there are a couple of ways you can check the leading zero part. I'm just going to be lazy about it. Um, so, yeah, if S of index is equal to zero, um, what does that mean? Right? If S of index is equal to zero, that, that means there's really only one way to go about it, which means that we have to recurse. Um, index plus one, left minus one current, right? Uh, and also maybe if left is less than zero, we return so we don't have to check. Uh, this is basically because, uh, and this is actually this, um, because that means that if it's zero, then we have to use it for its zero-ness. There's no way about it. Um, and here, mm, yeah, plus i is less than n, then yeah. And then maybe we check that int of this thing is between zero and I mean, it should be between zero. I mean, it's, there's no way to get negative. So, but might as well write a composition. Then uh, I, mean, I, I think we don't return anything, so we just do it this way. Uh, but yeah, um, here then we check to see if it, if it is the case. Then we index plus i plus one uh, left minus one uh, current. And I think I did a terrible job here. Current should be an array. So now we, we append uh, zero, and then current we pop. Um, current, we append this thing, and this should be a period thing, but yeah. And that's pretty much it, I think. I mean, we have to call it once. I think, I don't know if I remember to do it last time, but uh, four parts, and then current is an array. Let's see if this works. Um, hmm. Does it, am I... Maybe I'm off by one on this one. I, I always forget how to do the bounds on this one. Okay, so I mean, this looks good, uh, but I, I forgot to add this to the thing. That's why, uh, yeah. And then here, the dupes is why. Um, hmm. Wait, is that true? No, there's just three. What? Why did I do that? Huh. Uh, There you go. So that was actually just bad. Okay, because so, it, it shouldn't be duped because um, I was wondering why it was duped. Or it was wrong because of, for other reasons. And it shouldn't be duped because the way that we did it, it, it doesn't want anything more than once. Otherwise, the, the band would be inaccurate. Uh, okay, so 10, 26 day streak. Yep. What's the complexity here? Again, we already kind of did it. It's going to be n choose 3, which is all of n cube. Um, but I mean, I guess technically, because at a certain point, you just can't have enough. I don't even know how S sub length can be. I mean, I guess it could be 20 and just return nothing. But if it's 255, 255, 255, it has like uh, 12 digits, right? So can't even be that big. But in theory, I guess technically, I don't know. I don't know how you want to say it. Man, choose three for some small values of N. Uh, cool. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, we're doing other problems, but so. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.